The World Trade Center Health Program was established by the 9-11 uh, James Zadroga Act. And for responders, it offers medical monitoring visits. Uh, it offers treatment for uh, conditions which are found to be related to World Trade Center exposure and also monitoring benefits related to those conditions. We think there's about 90,000 responders overall. We have around 70,000 responders in the program right now. There's 22,000 at our Mount Sinai program, uh, making us the largest uh, single unit uh, offering these services to responders. I was at Broadway and Vesey Street when the first building came down. I was there until uh, almost midnight or a little after midnight. At the time I was working with the New York City Police Department and on that day uh, when the first and second plane hit, I responded uh, to Ground Zero. There's a wide variety of conditions that have been related to World Trade Center exposure, including upper airway conditions like sinusitis and rhinitis, lower airway conditions like uh, chronic bronchitis and asthma, a gastroesophageal reflux disorder, uh, a variety of musculoskeletal conditions, a wide variety of mental health conditions. And then sadly, uh, we do see our responders developing cancer. Uh, we have excellent treatment for cancer. We have excellent screening for cancer. So we can not only treat, we can also prevent conditions like lung cancer and breast cancer and cervical cancer and colon cancer. I have short Barrett's esophagus. I've had, had kidney cancer. Um, COPD, asthma, RADS, sleep apnea, uh, GERD. My, my, my health has been uh, maintained, I feel, uh, due to my enrollment in the program. So now I am an outreach and education coordinator with the World Trade Center Health Program here at Mount Sinai. Our goal with outreach is to get uh, to as many responders as possible uh, that may not know that they're eligible to be enrolled in the program. Responders to enroll in the program would uh, need to fill out a World Trade Center Health Program responder application. Uh, with that application, they would also need to submit official documentation regarding their deployment or their volunteering down at the uh, disaster site. Uh, you can either fax it or mail it to NIOSH, which is the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. That is the agency that oversees the enrollment for the World Trade Center Health Program. Now more than ever, it's really critically important for you to be enrolled in the program. Uh, there is a uh, a myth that a lot of responders that I meet that they think that they need to have illnesses to be enrolled in the program or they feel that they're taking away from responders that are very sick. This is not how the program works um, and I must make note that I'm also a responder in the World Trade Center Health Program and I go for my monitoring every year. I know that there's uh, many people that I worked with that are retired now that are afraid to get examined by doctors. Uh, they're afraid of operations, they're afraid of uh, the pain, but the illnesses, if they're caught early, will give you a chance at having a normal life and a, a relaxed and comfortable life. So I ask the people that are watching this, if you've been exposed, please enroll in the program. To me, it's very personal. So my team and I are here to help you with any questions or assistance with enrolling in the World Trade Center Health Program.